I can't get over the fact of how long it takes for this to like happen because we have to think about the financial aspects, we have to think of the students, the parents, the faculty, the surrounding area. So back in September when I started the climate strike, I thought that was when it was going to start, when we were going to have a plan, when we were going to see change immediately. But fast forward to February of this year, it seems like this is where we're actually going to start. It was the first conversation with Penny. Yeah, it's definitely like ripping the band-aid open in a sense because it's like we have, they have one section that they're working on and then the students are trying to be more engaged. And instead of us like intersecting right now, we were just like in different paths. So now I guess it was productive in the sense that there's two different groups that are trying to like intersect. A few weeks ago, we created like a carbon um, Net Zero task force with 20 students. So it was mostly Jasani. You should be put in on Jasani. No, no, no. But we have to be very careful in like how we go about like wording this or like when we talk about it because we have to say like, uh, um, like Jamie has done a lot, but we can do better. Like, don't say like we haven't done enough. Okay. And then through the past few weeks, we made subcommittees, um, and we created like a huge presentation. And Jasani made a huge pamphlet of 15 pages for yeah. everyone. And we made a, a Google form that we sent out to a lot of students. So it was a lot of planning, and I think that's what they were thrown off with, because they were like, presentation? Mm -hmm. Why are there five people instead of two? Like, there are a lot of things that they were just like, I didn't know this was going to happen, but... Yeah, we stood yeah. our ground. I feel like the goal was, like, to make this task force, and, like, it definitely is, like, one step closer to that, though. Even no, though I mean, saying... at least they're... What I liked is, like, okay, they had, like, a the next step. They're like, okay, we're going to meet with you all and these people soon, and we'll be in contact. At least it didn't just like stop. And they took us seriously enough for the first meeting to even happen. When we met with Alger, our goal was to create a task force of faculty and staff and students so we can push for a carbon net zero goal or plan. I think it's a matter of kind of putting together, like we said, the pieces and then kind of centralizing that and looking at how we can kind of create what we already have, or build something from what we already have, and then kind of elevating that to the next step, looking at different environmental sustainability standards and efforts and attempts. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Back in August, I thought, okay, climate strike, right? And then all of this would change, you know, in a snap. But that's not how the world works. <laughs> There's a lot of other stakeholders and factors you have to take account for. And I think in a sense, we are doing things because we're continuing it. We're, we made the task force, we're meeting with Alger. We're hopefully going to be presenting something to him so he could consider it and pass it by the end of this year. We're just trying to get people like underclassmen to understand what we're doing right now so they can pursue it further. Because I mean, I'm graduating in three months, right? So after that, I'm like, oh. <laughs> but 
the administrators will also be like, oh, she's graduating in a few months. You know, after three months, it'll be done. So that's what we're trying to avoid. So we're, we're getting people to continue it. Um, I'm just trying to leave some type of base, like, I don't know, a blueprint, some like foundation for people to work on. The things we want to pass, it's going to take a few years for there to be actual change here.